Hello, this is an assessment for restoration of Ibach Upright Piano, 1905. Now the case works very stunning and generally good condition. Uh, you can say there's this boxwood inlay here. I'm not quite sure what wood this is. And pianos of this age are normally either rosewood or mahogany, but this certainly isn't either of those. Be interested to know if any carpenter can tell me. It's a beautiful colour and uh, generally the polish um, is pretty good throughout. So just some touching up needing on, on the case, some scratches here and there. There's a large scratch on the side there, as you can see, and some scratches here and generally around the piano. But they can be made good without having to redo the whole piano. And looking at the mechanics, this uh, sustain pedal here is very, very wobbly. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem to fix, and the felts are missing, as you can see. Uh, so there's a lot of mechanical work to do on the piano. I think this uh, music desk could do with the felt changing as well. Uh, this is the commonest style of uh, Ibach upright pianos with over damper system. Uh, the 1905, later on you get under damper system. This is a later Ibach 1913. There's an in-stock piano, it also has a very handsome case. There's 1913 one has an under-damper mechanism, that means the hammer, hammers on top of the dampers. Much better damping as a result. Uh, we'll go back to the over-damper and have a listen to that in a minute. The tone is not really any better on this one than the other one, but it's just a damping system. The very beautiful piano. So back to the one we're assessing, you see, the, the over-damper system used in most Ibachs that you find doesn't cut off so well. It's pretty good in the bass, but the further up you go, you hear it echoing. And up there it hardly cuts off at all. Back to this uh, 1913 one. You hear the damping cut straight off, straight away. And back to the other one. See? A lot of echo, just cannot get any better than that because the dampers are too near the top of the string. And now, nowadays it's possible to change the over damper to an under damper system. It is expensive. Uh, on a quality piano like this, it would be worth doing. Um, we can get an assessment on the cost of that. You see the damping, with the best will in the world, you can adjust the damping, but this is more or less adjusted as good as it will get. And here, by the way, you hear it? Hear the, it, that sound means the damper's got wet. We'll see that in a minute. It's a really fruity bass sound. And a lovely tone. In fact, the strings here, the, the pitch is 10 beats flat. That's a, it's almost a quarter of a tone flat. Um, but the tuning pins are really tight, uh, which is encouraging. These marks are just marking C and F for some reason or other. Uh, but the tuning pins are very, very tight, which is encouraging. Uh, Normally I say restring the piano. In this case, all the strings, there's just one treble one up is missing. Even with the pitch raise, I believe it was lubricated here and lubricated here uh, and carefully taken down before taken up. You probably wouldn't break any strings. Can't guarantee that, but it's worth a try before saying we've got to change them because they're very well made bass strings. There's a few here that need turning. They've lost their, well actually those are pretty good. They will be improved with new strings, but it's not the worst thing on the piano. Now the worst thing is the hammers here. They're just very brittle. And we'll have a look at why in a minute, as well as the damping we said that dampers have got wet there. Problem is that they don't make over damper style dampers these days, so it's hard to replace the felts. And all the bridges here are in good condition, uh, but there's no moth in the piano at all, which is helpful. I thought you'd like to see this. This is a, what's called a half plate frame. And I box the other one too, the 1931 one, is exactly the same, but immensely stable pianos. Um, see the, the plate at the top here, uh, plate up to here, and then just a bar at the top of metal, but it holds immensely stable. There's no problem with the tuning on these. I've had many pleasurable uh, hours tuning Ibach pianos, Ibach pianos before. At the back of the keys here, there's definitely graphite worn, worn off on the back there. Shows how much has been played as well, but it's been re-graphited once before. I've turned the action around here and you can see the liquid on the dampers that we were hearing before as the dampers went back on the string, they were, they were buzzing. And look at the hammers here. Now, the hammers are very hard. Somebody's put liquid on these hammers. In fact, uh, there's various things done to this piano is a bit, un bit unusual. Uh, so these hammers, I can't focus them properly. This is always a problem with this camera. There we go. Um, so that you can see actually liquid on there. It's really, really hard. The hammers are just don't bounce at all. They've got a terrible tone. So I would say the only 
thing we can do here is just change the hammers. There's no other option. There's not an amazing amount of wear on them, but they're just so hard and there's nothing you can do about that. So dampers, well, again, we've got a problem there. As I say, it would be quite nice if, uh, as a project, to replace this over damper with an under damper system. The tone of this piano will be as good, if not better, than the other one we have in stock. And of course, with a new action, that would be excellent too. Uh, it is expensive. I'll get to price that up. Um, these, these, these are pretty tight. The hinges are pretty tight, which is encouraging. Uh, an important thing to look for. You can see if the hinges were loose, the hammers would, the indentations would be all over the place as the hammers wobbled around. But you can see that the hammers, that that one, that hammer's a bit misplaced. It's um, slightly to one side, but. Um, generally uh, not too bad condition just the hammers need replacing they're just awful the tone of them is the worst part of the piano it might be just possible to prick these dampers to, to, to take out the liquid in them and uh, in fact I've done that many times where rather than replacing them all as I say they don't make these dampers in sets you'd have to cut them out yourself It'd be really difficult and long job and anyway the damping in the end of the day wouldn't be very successful it's a quick look inside the bottom that's a uh, uh, the iBuck logo on the soundboard there and uh, the soundboard itself is in pretty good condition actually it doesn't really need um, any work and interesting enough the grain goes straight across there uh, it's a really interesting design on iBuck piano and um, really works very well and apart from being an over damper in, in every other aspect of it is excellent uh, the uh, soft pedal rods come out there it's easy to put back in so that's an assessment of an Ebach upright piano, 1905, and uh, the piano has a lot of potential to it. It's very good legroom, by the way, for to, if you're a tall person. But 68 centimeters, that's uh, much more than average, it's about 62, 63. The other Ebach is about 63 and a half. So this is, uh, it's a really excellent piano in many ways, a lot of potential, very hard hammers. And just no, no, no variation in tone because the hammers will be made hard with some sort of liquid. But really the piano, the strings might be able to be salvaged rather than change them. I say that because for economy's sake, uh, if you were ch to change the action in this piano and make it an under damper, I think it would be an extremely valuable piano because the t underlying tone is excellent. So it's might worth considering that. It's had replacement key tops, so they're not the original ivories, but they're in good condition. And a nice fruity bass. I've had many enjoyable times tuning one of these, except they're over dampers, which are harder to tune. And it's eight be uh, sorry, ten beats flat, so very flat. If we pitch raise it, we may find some strings break, but I don't suspect they will. Thank you for listening. Now the work's been completed on this uh, Ibach upright piano overstrung. Um, it was overdamped and now it has underdamped action. We did replace the action and we have Arbel German hammers there and best quality action. As you can see, the strings have also, also been replaced with uh, top quality German strings. And so let's listen to the tone of the piano. Around here, remember the hammers were very indented. Now we have the best quality German hammers on a really top quality piano. So really, this is as good as any top quality German piano you can get today. The action is uh, very, very well regulated and superb to play. And the tone round here sings beautifully. Remember the fruity bass, well, it's gained, if anything, with brand new strings. And is as fruity as it was before, if not fruitier. And of course the damping shuts off beautifully. If you look at the previous uh, images of the piano, you'll see that uh, the accent had to be um, modified to uh, to accept this new action because the, the old action was an over damper totally different really so uh, there's been extensive changes there the, the keys are original but you can see they've been rebushed in the middle now the sample's been reconditioned at the same time refinished and uh, we also have put an, a brand new ebark logo on there 
uh, Ebok logos, Ebok still makes, uh, well, up till recently, they've still been making pianos. Now the Ebok is actually made in China. It's not the same piano at all. But um, Ebok was the oldest firm uh, still making pianos. Uh, the Ebok factory closed in uh, 2007. You can see the pedal mechanism has been restored, reconditioned as well. This was very loose, remember, before. Uh, that wasn't a problem tightening that up. In some extensive uh, adaptions, as you can see, the holes here have been plugged. Um, totally different action, this is. Um, but you, but th this is an extremely stable piano and uh, will be, as I say, just as good as any new piano, really better, I think. So that's a um, restoration of an Ibach upright piano. It was an over damper, now an under damper, and uh, really such a well-made piano that it, the conversion's worth doing because uh, I, I rate it as highly as any new piano would be, if not better. Obviously, the case work is uh, superb. beautifully rich tone now it's gained mainly by the damping system being changed but and the hammers uh, the hammers were terribly hard before uh, and they didn't sing at all they didn't bounce off the strings you need the hammer to be bouncy to to get it to get with a full tone Thank you very much for listening.